Hello everyone, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2, where our trees are glowing with rainbows, the stars are shining overhead, and our newest slimes, these adorable little cotton slimes, have left behind for us so many of these plorts. Oh my gosh, let me just go ahead and collect up a few of these, hopefully without scooping up all of my cotton slimes while I work on it. Uh, I have a whole bunch of carrots for them, but apparently their favorite food isn't carrot, their favorite food... Oh my gosh, the new Slimepedia is very cute. Their favorite food is actually water lettuce, which is not a plant that we have stumbled upon just yet. But I'm sure as we continue... Ooh, look at the size of that moon. <laughs> Ooh, do we have two moons? Oh wait, no, that's a volcano! Okay, hold up. Oh my gosh, hey, it's a rooster! Oops, okay, I didn't mean to go ahead and smack him in the face. I wanted to go ahead and learn more about the Roosteroo. Struts his stuff like he's the king of the coop. Let's see, so yeah, he's a meat type and hunter slimes are around to eat him. Hang in there, little buddy. I'm really hoping I'll be able to have like a hen hen sanctuary here and, you know, Slime Rancher too. Just like we had a hen hen sanctuary in our first Slime Rancher, thank you very much. We only had a few incidences of escaped slimes, making that a, uh, a somewhat precarious position with our hen hens, but we handle it. Roosteroos are the alpha birds on the far, far range and half of the equation required to breed chickens on the ranch. However, roosteroos are rarer than any hen, making finding them a, making them a great find anytime one is discovered. All right, considering I legitimately just sort of stumbled on this roosteroo in a bush, I think it's fate. I think it's fate. If they're supposed to be rare and stumbling on them is like super uncommon, there's another one over here. <laughs> I was gonna say, if they are supposed to be rare and stumbling on them is super uncommon, we should keep this guy as like the king rooster and keep him safe and protected forever. Uh, it would be a little easier to keep him safe and protected. <gasps> I actually could make them a coop now. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it because I want to keep this guy basically forever. And we need a cool name for him because he is going to be the very first lucky rooster that we have ever stumbled upon. Yes, there's apparently already one inside the conservancy, um, but like this guy's special. We basically stepped on him. We found him like on the edge of a cliff while we stared at a volcano. He needs a really cool name. Also the chickadoos, come here you little cuties. Chickadoos need a safe place to go to. And then we're gonna go ahead and collect this hen hen. And oh, get over here. Oh my gosh, not a moment too soon, friends. Not a moment too soon. And we have the coop to protect the rooster family. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have both of these chickadoos be added in. Um, I just realized figuring out which rooster is the king rooster is gonna be kind of hard if these chickadoos grow up into being boys. Uh, but we'll leave this other male rooster out and he's going to be one of the knights, the very round knights, who is supposed to go ahead and like defend the, the rooster corner. And we need a cool name for the main rooster and I really wish I could somehow like, I don't know, add a little hat on him so that we could differentiate him from everybody else. Oh, there are slimes just kind of popping around the place. Okay. All right, meanwhile, oh good, the cotton plorts, which must be as soft and uh, refreshing. All right, let's sell these. But they sound super soft and refreshing to curl up with, are selling for a bit more. And yay, all right. Literally just in time we saved that rooster because yeah, now the slimes are roaming loose. Oops, and speaking of, oh, a chicken. All right, come here, Hen Hen. All right, come here. Oh my gosh, and the carrots are already ready to harvest? Dang! All right, time to feed the cotton slimes. I really hope we find a way for, for like the network to start working again so we can order improved conditions. There we go. Do not throw the rooster out, you're the, the hen hen out. Okay, good. And we'll take her over too. Wow, this place is just like really settled. I'm super impressed. Also, I think my, my chickens are being hunted. All right, none of that, none of that. All right, little pink slime, I'm gonna set you free somewhere. I don't really know right where I'm gonna put you though. Wow. I mean, come on, this conservancy is just too nice. It is like 800 times nicer than our farm. 
<laughs> and I am just so suspicious about what the cost is going to be. Goodbye, little friend. What the cost is going to be for having this conservancy. Oh, and speaking of which, let's go and explore the creepy basement because I'm sure that's going to be completely fine and nothing bad is going to happen to us. All right, you guys ready for this? All right. All right, this is gonna be cool. Oh, <gasps> whoa! A mad scientist lab of my very own right at the start? This is ridiculous. <gasps> it even has mushrooms? Oh, come on. Clearly someone is going to want to come back for all of this. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. Someone is, oh, I mean, there's even little places you can just sit and chill. Oh my gosh, and there's a little wheelbarrow. You even get a little, like, overview. What the heck? I can hear hen hens. Somebody was digging this. This is too cute. And, I mean, so freaking suspicious. All right, let's see what we've got here. A refinery. A refinery. So I can just go ahead and I can just bring any of these things in. Angler plort, batty plort, cotton plort are new. Flutter plort. Let's see, and then we, okay, sorry about that. It's a little bit wonky. Ringtail port, that's new. And then we can bring the deep brine, primordial oil, uh, the lava dust, the silky sand, buzz wax, wild honey, jellystone, radiant ore, and strange diamonds to the refinery. Is there already, <gasps> boots! Oh, sweet, here we go. So we can do upgrades, add a resonator to the back suction me mechanism that shakes loose science resources from nodes in the environment. That sounds amazing and we need cotton plorts for it. Heat modules, syncs with your body's own vital processes to enhance life systems, boosting health to 150. Plus it's sparkly. All right, you'd use new bucks and pink plorts for that. I, you know what, my headcanon is that new bucks aren't actually like cash currency, they're also like a energy currency because wouldn't that make so much more sense for a spacefaring society if a lot of what you traded in was based around a material that could also be used as like an energy source because traveling in space might be really difficult to have some sort of energy source so my headcanon is that the little new bucks that we have not only work as currency but you can also like insert them into technology to help power that technology uh which kind of makes it sound like i don't know some sort of vending machine <laughs> But I think that's a really cool idea. One of my favorite sci-fi books actually focused on the currency being rare metals that you would trade because getting your hands on refined metal was so much more difficult than anything else. Who wants to use some fake currency in space when you need like actual materials? So there's my little head cannon for the, um, <clears throat> the new bucks. And augments your backpack with an almost certainly safe microfusion generator that boosts energy to 150. We have dash boots. We need boom plorts for that. A jet pack, which needs radiant ore. I want my jet pack. I really miss having the jet pack. And it looks like several of these have multiple upgrades you can do. Tank booster, so we can hold more things. Extra tank, so we can hold more things. Water tank. And then what is this last one? Pulse wave. Adds a pulse wave emitter feature to your backpack that pushes away slimes whenever you need some personal space. All right, all of that sounds really useful. Warp tech decorations and utilities are missing. Maybe because I have to unlock them? Has Victor been here? Like as a little scientist researcher? Oh my gosh, it keeps going. You guys! This is so suspicious. All right, comes back out to the slime sea. And then, yeah. Oh, oh geez, that scared me. I thought there was something like lurking right outside here, but it's just another one of these little water features. And that path leads somewhere. And I can hear hen hens again. Okay, and the slime sea is encroaching on this one. I mean, someone put a lot of effort into building this, which again, like, how do we just get it for- <gasps> That's so pretty! Oh, I really, really, really need to work on getting myself the, the jetpacks so that I can start exploring because that's so lovely! I want to go play over there. What the heck? And there's my little boat. Does my little boat have any more information? 
I haven't come down here yet. Let's see. Hi, little boat. I'm fascinated by the fact that there is apparently some aquatic life with signs of starfish. Um, can I jump over here? Is there anything here? Once I have my jetpack, I'm going to be exploring everywhere because I'm sure that there is mystery and treasure hidden all over the place. Huh, maybe I brought a ton of stuff with me. I think I would definitely be prepared. I mean, I had fairy lights and small, like, planters full of adorable plants ready to whip out and call any new place my home, so I do think I am fairly prepared. Alright. Now I feel like I just said some famous last words. Hey guys! May I have some of your, uh, plorts, please? Harvesting some wild pink plorts? Yes, yes. Maybe some of these adorable cotton slimes while I'm at it. Hi! Oh, they're so cute when they're hungry, guys. Oh, you're so precious! How could you not love these cotton slimes? Oh, they're so cute! Oh my gosh, they're so cute! Alright, whoops, I did not mean to toss you out. Oh, I can't, I can't resist them. Alright, come here, you little ones. Alright, now we've got some Largos jumping around, because I didn't move fast enough. And then here's like one of the module things that I think you could suck resources out of if you really wanted to. All right, I think we might do- oh, you guys are cute. <laughs> Watch out, you're going to the slime sea! Okay, that's adorable. All right, out you go, friends. Let's see, another plort over here. It's not a lot, but every little bit counts right now. Ooh, another plort over there. <gasps> Stay over here, guys! Do your best! Do your best! It's a matter of survival! Also, what are these? What the heck? I'm bringing it home. I don't know what it is, but it's stuck inside of my vac. And we've got lots and lots of beautiful shiny grasses over here. Am I heading the right way? Hey, can I shoot this in? Okay. I was wondering if I needed to shoot it like into the mouth of... Oh! Oh no, get back in here! Hello, little friend! What have I just found here, huh? Research drone. Accessing gg.log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place. I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was, because it ended much too soon. Oh, little friend! Is that all I can do with him? I guess, I guess because he's not my drone? Wow! Wow, this is so pretty! <laughs> it's just endless happy fields of beautiful slimes, like in rainbows with all of these happy Largos. I'm gonna get eaten alive by something. This is just absolutely a trap, isn't it? All right, let's see. Where's my map? All right. Okay, so I'm in, like, a foggy zone. Oh, because I probably have to collect the map pieces, just like before. If I head this way, it'll take me home, apparently. You guys are so cute. Oh my gosh. I wonder how my cotton slimes are doing. Oh, what's this? Another thing! Hello, little cute slime. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Literally, as I was just saying, I needed to figure out what the map was doing. Here we are. <gasps> Come here, Chikadu! Come on, it's gotta be like, oh, they've already eaten its mother! <laughs> I have got to work on some Chikadu rescue, thank you very much. Um, and I guess I don't need to bring the cottons home at the moment, even though I really want to. It'd be better if I could get a garden growing some pogo fruit, most likely. Alright. So speaking of getting home... That's so cute! There are so many- oh, what do we have here? Hello? This- oh! It leads down to the- the uh, refinery! So there's actually like a, a location we can come on the surface that's- oh next to a refinery and another one of these guys! Accessing gg.log. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling jelly stone back to the conservancy by hand because I was so excited. Breathless and sweating, I was going to be- I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. 
There's little time now, so I need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm going to do it right. Yep, like I said, gonna die some sort of horrific death. I can feel it coming. But um, I guess the refinery link should help out. Where am I going? Am I lost again? I am going the wrong direction. Should I just continue on for the adventure? Hello, friends. Where am I now? What is this? This is not like some natural rock formation. Like, I'm pretty suspicious about this. I'm pretty sure I can put two and two together enough to get like, this is an ancient alien architect. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. There's a lot of stuff growing around here. I hear something moving, but I don't see anything. And here's a bunch of pogo fruit. To me, pogo fruit, please. Oh, and two little abandoned babies with their mother facing certain death down here. It's a face-off. Nope. Oh, another. Get in here. Oh my gosh, the poor chikadoos. I know they're supposed to be part of the natural like life cycle, but look, I'm at least going to give them a little bit of a chance on the farm. It's just the way that I must do things. I wonder if you lure the angler fish or the angler slime like out of the water somehow. Huh. Huh. Hello, little ones. So far, I haven't felt like, oh, this is one of my favorite plants. I really want to take some home. But I'm, I'm currently conducting a rescue mission. Uh-huh. Dang. Hey, these are stony hens. All right, I have entered a new zone, I think. Oh, and it marks where I found the refinery, too. So I'm still in Rainbow Fields, which is good, I think. And we're hopping around and exploring. And we've got a bunch of stony hens now. <gasps> and the tabbies! Oh, oh, I missed it. <laughs> All right, well, now we have the tabbies, and they seem to be absolutely thrilled with life. Um, Should I trade the... the Let's see, is this a stone chick do? It is a stone chick! I can't do anything for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's just a herd of tabby slimes coming after these these hen hens. I'm sorry, hen hens. It is it is just fate, it seems. Alright, alright. Huh. I want to take some of the tabbies home. Oh, look at them carry around the little bit of food. I forgot how slimes will do that when they're just in the mood. And I can't gather any more there. Gosh, they're cute. <gasps> what the heck? Nobody told me there was going to be a big old Gordo. Hello, friend. All right, friends. I think we're on to something. I think we need to, to feed this Gordo a lot of our food. And he's going to get off whatever he's hiding. More pogo fruit. More pogo fruit. All right, we need even more. Apparently there's dangerous slimes nearby. What are you sitting on? We're gonna find out. All right. Wow, look at those trees. Oh, hey, there's our house. We're really far from home. I have gotten myself kind of tangled up in who knows what. Hello, little tabby slime. Okay, these stripes, that tail, that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Tabby slimes share many curious similarities with domesticated house cats of Earth. With their perky ears, striped backs, and swaying tails, you'd almost mistake them for a true feline. If they weren't made entirely of gooey slime, of course. A tabby slime generally doesn't mean any harm to a rancher, but like their spiritual earth cat cousins, often cause a great deal of chaos anyway. Tabby slimes love to steal things they don't eat, like fruits and veggies, resulting in a lot of unintended Largo transformations on the range. Plortonomics? Tabby plorts are a key ingredient in a variety of performance-enhancing products that grant the consumer a surge of the tabby slime's signature energy and exuberance. And while athletes the world over take them to gain an edge, prolonged use often results in uncontrollable butt wiggles. <laughs> Another less desirable signature of the tabby slime. That is so funny. Like, don't eat too much tabby slime. Uh, tabby slime plorts or else you might end up with uncontrollable butt wiggles, my friends. Also, what is that? There's something up there. All right, can I make it without... Oh. Okay, how do I get over there? Look, there's a thing. There's a thing and I really want it. Is it this guy again? Maybe I need to get him. 
Ah, okay. Okay, I need to find him more food. We need to find him more food. I don't think I can feed him the plorts. And I, I have a rescue mission with these hen hens. So we're gonna need to figure out where we're going. Aha, maybe I can get him some carrots. All right, let's get some carrots and let's see if we can also get our way back home somehow. I'm a tiny bit lost, but mildly curious about where we might be going. I have resumed being a little bit more lost. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Everything's gonna be fine. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. What is that? I see the gigantic ears of a Largo. Or not, a Gordo. There is a freaking Gordo. Bunny. Oh. My gosh. I'm gonna need some more carrots. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you could, do please leave a like for all of the unexpected discoveries we're stumbling upon as we get used to being here in our new far, far away range. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.